Here is another example, but this time we are subtracting our algebraic fractions. The first step is the same. We have to factor all expressions completely. The only factorable expression we have, though, is in the denominator of the first fraction, which is a difference of squares. a squared minus b squared factors to a minus b, a plus b. The rest of the expressions stay the same. Now we have to find our common denominator. Again, a plus b is a factor of this bigger expression, a minus b, a plus b. So the bigger expression, a minus b, a plus b, will be our common denominator this time. So I write it in the denominators of both fractions. The first fraction will therefore stay the same. And the second fraction has been expanded. Since the bottom was multiplied by the binomial a minus b, the top is also going to be multiplied by a minus b. Now we can combine our numerators all together into one fraction over the common denominator. Two a minus one times a minus b. This simplifies to two a minus a plus b. Again, be very careful about the minus sign before the expression at the end. The entire expression is being subtracted, so this ends up meaning minus minus b It's equal to plus b. It's still over the common denominator, and we can simplify it further. 2a minus a is a, so this becomes a plus b over the common denominator. And we have a cancelling opportunity. Since both top and bottom have a plus b in them, we can cancel the a plus b's. Our final answer will be over a minus b. There's nothing left in the numerator. That's not true. There is a 1 left in the numerator because a plus b divided by a plus b is equal to 1. Be careful. Our final answer to this subtraction of two algebraic fractions is therefore 1 over a minus b.